Election season means many eyes are focused on our country's democratic process. It's also a good time to think about how our right to vote came to be. A Tony Award-winning musical being performed in Marquette this week gives audience members the chance to relive part of our nation's beginning. TV6's Andrew Lacombe explains in tonight's entertainment report. The drama of our nation's history with a dash of comedy. The musical 1776 takes the stage at NMU's Forrest Roberts Theater tonight through Saturday. All of the uh, usual suspects, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, all together arguing the merits for and against trying to achieve independence against England. It's just the struggle through trying to get all the, the delegates to agree with them. Shane Vincent plays the role of congressional custodian in 1776. The junior theater major is appearing in his sixth show at Northern. I'm for debating anything. Along with veterans like Vincent, the 30-member cast includes at least 10 newcomers to the NME stage. They're led by director Paul Truckee. It's a kind of an unusual musical in that it's more of a play with music in it than it is a musical with lots and lots of songs. 1776 also includes a pit orchestra under the direction of Rob Engelhart. It's an award-winning show. It has great music. Um, you'll be entertained. It's funny. There's fights, let's say. People have read Mr. Payne's Common Sense. I think that it was apropos for us to do this because the election coming up, we're only doing it a few weeks from the election. Maybe we get a few people riled up to get out there and rock the vote, right? The show opens tonight at 7.30 and runs every evening through Saturday. There's also a matinee performance on Saturday at 1 p.m. Tickets for the general public are $15, five for NMU students. Tickets are available at NMU ticket outlets like the box office here at Forest Roberts Theater. They're also available online. Go to our website, UpperMichiganSource.com, for the link. Reporting in Marquette, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News.